everybody, how you doing? Justin Ponerelli again, and we're doing, obviously, Roblox Naval Warfare. I, again, not sure what the theme's going to be, so let's just dive in and see what happens. And this time I'm going to try to be more aware of, you know, <clears throat> when I need to turn on the, the sound volume, so you guys kind of have like some... <laughs> some more sense of excitement, you know, just, um, again, though, I do want to provide commentary, but at the same time, when there's action going on, I, I want you guys to be able to hear the action, not just see it, you know what I'm saying? So, there, there you go. Okay. And I'm hoping that the quality comes out looking better, too. So, we explained last time why I, why I do this. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what team's doing, doing what, how well they're doing, that kind of thing. I, I kind of, I want to see this guy's name. It, it, I'm, you guys see that? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I just get a kick out of that. It's pretty funny. Oopsie daisy. What happened? Am I dead? I'm dead. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, um, so we're on Team Japan, there's our target way out there, I'm gonna hop in a destroyer and let's go. <clears throat> so right now I'm going to try to provide a distraction for yeah just anyway um, we're going over there <laughs> to Island A I'm going to try to neutralize it help capture it Knocking down planes right and left. Let's do some more.
kind of hard to turn this thing if you don't know where you're going, you know what I'm saying? The buttons are just kind of, ugh, sometimes. So we just shot down a ton of planes. We're going to check our score in a little while. But right now, let's go ahead and just go get right into it. Let's attack the base. an enemy sub out there somewhere. I can't do anything about it though. This thing, I mean this thing can fight back, but it's not going to be very effective against it. That server went belly up, so we're trying another one. This one looks promising. Let's check it out. So they have 456 wins altogether. Looks like a couple decent players on their team. We have about the same, you know, if you include myself. I mean, again, not to toot my own horn, but. I guess it's something I do. Oh no, we are not doing good at all. <laughs> wow. Okay, I mean, but, you know, that was before, right? I don't know if I want to just stay in here and let them do this or whatever. Come on, guys. Kill the battleship. It's not that hard. Really, it's not. All right, I, okay, so I keep forgetting. Action, volume, <laughs> no action, no volume. So what I was saying was, um, they were like, the battleship was like right there. I'm thinking, just blow it up. Like, what's going on? Guys, so I've seen newbies that have this tendency to just leave their stuff parked in the harbor. Like, don't do that. Thankfully, this guy left his his heavy cruiser unlocked, so I can take it now. Really weird. What's the, what's he just, what's he doing? This, there, there's an enemy cruiser just out there. If you're going to attack, attack. If you're going to defend, defend. I don't understand what, what the deal is here.
That was no fun. I mean, it was kind of fun because I did some damage, but not enough damage, I think. Thankfully, the first ship was free. Looks like there's a guy going around maybe buying and unlocking heavy cruisers. I don't know. Again, this one doesn't have any owner, so let's just go and see if I can... No, I can't because it's not unlocked. If the ship's unlocked, it will you know, let you drive it, but there's no controls for it, so it's not unlocked. So guys, really pro tip, I've said this before, but, you know, get out there. What happened? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Easy. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that to happen. Let's try again. Hold on. I should be able to do this. Okay. <laughs> I kind of felt dumb. Like, move. Move your sorry booty. I'm kind of tempted to go around Island C and try to take Island B because I can't defeat those. Those are just, that's just too many enemy ships there. I mean, right now, the Team, team USA is going to win anyway. So this is a, um... foregone conclusion that we've lost this battle. And to be fair, in this instance, I don't think Team Japan knows what they're doing. Anyway. But like we discovered last time, stats don't always tell the full tale. And... You know, what are the, what are the type of lies, right? Multiple types of lies. Lies, damned lies, and statistics. As my professor from college, or was it high school, had said. The anyway, island's being taken by Team Japan, which is nice. So if there's anyone controlling these ships, uh, they're not doing much of anything. <laughs> so we're just going to knock them off real easy here.
So close, so close. Almost had the sub, almost had the battle or the uh, crew, the uh, the carrier. We lost Island C too. Oh gosh. I guess we hop back in a destroyer and go another round. I don't know. That's game if those bombers get through. It looks like they're already over us, but not much we can do now. At this point, the game is technically lost. All they've got to do is come in with a high altitude bomber and then get a good run, and that's it because even a single bomb could effectively destroy the US Harbor. And although you might think we'll just get into a plane and defend it, well, I, I don't like planes. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. You know, you lose some, you win some, whatever, blah, 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 right? That's how the game works. That's just, that's just 20 planes. Like, I can't stop all those. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, the good news is, at least it wasn't my, uh, the harbor. Island, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I know how to, I know how to kind of dodge. So, oh no. Can't dodge him though. I mean, I mean, I. All right, cool.
So we did, our team did really good. We'll go for B. C's going to be very easy to get, but B's going to be the one to fight for. Uh, I already got 18 points right off the bat, like in the first round back in this back on a, on a new server. Only behind the other this other guy here. Uh, Semi-automatic gamer with 21 points. He's doing good. That's awesome. Wondering if our fleet's sticking together, but I can't really turn back right now to check because it would detract from this mission. I'm going to try to clean my lens real quick, or my screen. That kind of helped. Not really, though. So right now I'm probably going to die because I can't get past that. Unless they ignore, ignore me completely. What do you do? Oh, no, wait. They're trying to kill me as opposed to trying to, uh... Go for the island. <laughs> Which doesn't and does help at the same time. Looks like it's is the fleet actually going where they're supposed to be going in my I don't know. So guys look, this in my opinion is what you should be doing. Keep the fleet together more or less. The battleship should be further up here though. I'm pretty sure the battleship and the carrier are about the same speed. Might be wrong though. Um This guy's being brave. I love that. That's awesome. I gotta remember not to just ignore the uh, the bombs. I gotta bomb the island or something. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's try the carrier. Um, I messed that up realistically. That was me. Why? I don't know. Okay, we're fine. Let's just... Dude, move. Move. Fly your little booty out of here. What do you want, a tail gunner? I'm so bad though at getting off the uh, the deck of these things. Oh, yep, they're just going to ignore the. Oh, yep, this is bad. <laughs> just he's just going to ignore Island B and be like, nope, we're fine. We don't need Island B. But going for it, I don't know.
bit of nothing. So we're on the bridge of the battleship, in case you didn't realize. Oh, I'm not sure why this guy left. Had a try. Almost worked. It really did almost work. We did actually neutralize the island. We almost destroyed the carrier. If I had more crew, um, that might have helped a lot. Then my carrier went off on its own and died. Um, what more can I say? We're going to try another run on Island B with our destroyer here. Hopefully we're going to get some help from other ships and planes. Hopefully the carrier, enemy carrier is gone. Can't really tell though. That looks like the enemy battleship. Okay, yeah, that, that was bad. All right. Um, I 
I gotta get to um, Heavy Cruiser. Because in my opinion, if that... Uh, yeah. We gotta stop that. I'll take it though. <laughs> I mean, we'll be happy about it, right? We'll be thankful. So now, if I can link up with him, Tack Island B, we can get back in this game. So we've taken out their carrier. Um. So nice fella had commented on one of my previous videos that yeah. Um, in terms of the economics of the game, the battleship and the carrier do count. And I had some places that they don't count because technically they didn't, they didn't cost anything. But in reality, they, they do count. They do count. And the real reason that they count, in my opinion anyway, my opinion, is that once they're destroyed, then people are forced to use coins to spawn stuff. Okay. And that's when you can start economically damaging your opponent. Can't get him off you, buddy. I'm sorry. All right, I gotta focus though on on the island now. Destroyer? I can't really tell. <laughs> oh, yeah. People, come on, guys. What's going on here? I'm gonna check out the stats again. Like I realize having the island way isolated is kind of difficult. It makes it difficult to um, defend. 
And also this whole stretch of island from island C to island B makes it very difficult to traverse to attempt to take island B. So it's often easier to start from island, sorry, the harbor. In this case, to go to island B. And usually in this case, the strategy ends up being long range bombing from B to the enemy harbor, okay? So this is actually a very difficult position to be in. That looks like Island B is going to be reclaimed. And we got a new carrier. Now, in my opinion, that's... It's not as good as it looks, okay? And I'll, I'll give you my opinion on this, okay? It would be much better, in my opinion, if you took a swarm of ships or even planes. As a, this, this is like, you know, all your eggs in one basket. That's what that is, okay? I'll get back to that. Irritating. <laughs> I, mean, I know you can't win them all. Oh, come on. What the heck gives, man? And this is another thing, in my opinion. The, the carrier is kind of awkward to work with, to work off of. Is he not flying towards the island? I mean... Come on. Then we're dead. Eggs in one basket, right? This was what happens. The carrier is a huge target. Huge. Okay. It is vulnerable to swarms of enemies. That thing's frozen in midair. I think we're on another uh, frozen server. About to be a frozen server. No, get off my plane. I mean, get off my boat. No, get off my boat, dude. Get off my boat, dude. Thank you. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. It would be much more effective, in my opinion, to use a swarm of planes or ships Okay, then it would be to 
try your luck going in with a single carrier to attack an enemy island because all it takes is a few good players that's a battleship all right oh boy now if i had multiple destroyers with me this might be doable it really would be you could get in there no problem and knock out that uh, battleship it would be relatively a piece of cake I'm not sure how best to help out now So basically, I am the majority of the talent on this team, if you look at the leaderboard real, uh, real closely. So wins 322 for the American team. And there's a lot of fairly decent players. Okay, look at my 600 right there, right? And then after that, it's like a 20, a 36, a 22, a 33. In my opinion, those are the players that are probably any good, all right? I hate to put it that way, but it's that's the way it is, all right? So that is definitely a heavy cruiser. Okay, I don't like doing things this way, but I have to, I have to do it. I'm gonna give away this boat. I can get back up this way, and I cannot. Okay. And people are changing sides too, which is kind of disappointing. enough firepower to repel the uh, battleship. I'm on the wrong, I'm angled the wrong way. Guys, I got the sound effects turned off, I'm sorry. I am shooting at the, uh, the battleship, and it is dying. At least I was helping kill it.
do and I, I don't, you know, it's, it's... And there was someone shooting at me inside... I was being shot at inside the bridge of the, uh, the ship here. Yeah, you're dead, but we're dead too. All right, well, okay, guys. <sighs> you win some, you lose some. What can I say? So, what do I think happened? I'm looking down the stats, right? Remember, columns and rows. Columns, coin, win, score. Rows. You got a team, you got the overall score of the team, and the individual score of the players going down, or sorry, across the rows. So on Team USA, for example, there's an accumulative win, or wins, of 356. In my opinion, if you have maybe 25 plus, 50 plus score, you're probably relatively um, experienced enough to know the basics. Anyone with a decent score is going to be an asset to the team, okay? Now on this team, for example, let's just count people above, above 20. Above 20 wins on Team Japan, which has an accumulative win, sorry, accumulative wins of 702. Not counting myself. Uh, Peace almost makes it with 19 wins. Ice Wallow, 48 with 20 wins, so we'll just say that's one person, maybe two people. With enough, with enough experience to be good at this game. Counting myself, it's three people. Now let's count on Team USA. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, I had the experience to, to be an asset and help out, and I tried my best. But, first problem, I'm not that good in the air. If I was a little bit better in the air, that might be nice, right? That'd be helpful. So we'll probably practice that. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Can't win them all. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't, go ahead and leave a big old fat thumbs down. Down there. And please tell me why in the comments. And I will be happy to try to make a better video for you guys in the future. And as always, you know what to do. Please go ahead and leave any questions, comments, or polite constructor criticism down below. Thanks for watching.